Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be reviewing some of Born Pretty's Thermal Stamping Polishes. So I'm just going to give you a closer look now. I love their new packaging and the new boxes. They're like super pretty. So this is the part of their Illusion series. I think there's 12 polishes in total and I've got, um, I think I've got six of them. there you go that's the bottle once it's out of its packaging it's got a lovely um, like a pearly handle and you do get the color on the bottom of the bottle as well which is always handy so open the bottles up it's a nice consistency you know what you'd normally expect with a stamping polish and there isn't any nasty smells or anything like that and they do have um, the ingredients and what it may contain on the box as well so I know I said I've got six, but there's two here that I've got like, they've come with the same um, like label, like name, <laughs> I'll get there in the end. But as you can see, they look quite different in the um, bottle. So I don't know whether they've sent me a duplicate by mistake or whether it's not got the right bottle on it or not, the right label on it, sorry, I don't know. And this one didn't have a label on the bottom either. But I know that that is part of like the colour that it says it is. So you can wear these as a normal polish. And obviously because it's stamping, it's going to be nice and pigmented. So it does dry matte, which I probably should have showed you, but I forgot. <laughs> um, but I went ahead and put a glossy top coat on. Um, just so I'm ready to put it in the water and it's not going to sort of affect the look of it. So this is the first one that I'm going to show you. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. I have got no idea. <laughs> but this is it in its warm state. So it's got a gorgeous um, red tone and then it goes very dark when it goes cold. So you can get some really... Um, cool looks with that effect moving on then this is pumpkin fairy so it's a lovely yellow color so this is like going to be perfect for autumn colors or autumn stamping because it's got two obviously autumn colors when it changes this is a gorgeous color it's kind of like a nice pinky color when warm and then goes more like a lilac lavender color when cold so i really like that one Again, like this one, it's again purple and pink. <laughs> My favourite colours, I'm going to love it. There you go. So again, love the colour changes. So this is green flower and this one is a bit more of a subtle change. So it's got like a light blue and then it goes slightly darker. So this one, it's got blue enchantress on the label. But to be honest, it hasn't got much of a colour change. And I know from looking at it that it did have a colour change. So like looking over the, the, the store. I think that is actually it. I think. It's so confusing. <laughs> so I thought I would I'd just get my hair dryer so I could show you it all properly warm. And you can see that it does all change colours. I do probably think those blue enchantress ones are the same. It just one of them just doesn't shift as much. But you can see that there is such a lovely range of colour here that you could just wear as a normal polish as well. And then I'm just going to show you like the half and half with the labels just so you can see just in case it wasn't that obvious. but they're all very, very pretty. So now obviously because it's a stamping polish, I'm gonna stamp. So I'm gonna stamp over a white and I will show you um, it already done, but I will show you it stamped over black as well. 
So that's a fairly good um, stamping finish. And do you know what? I actually had to get used to stamp swatching on pop sticks again. I know that sounds mad, but because I've so got used to doing it on the like fake nail things that I do, like on my little magnetic stand, it was really weird trying to do it this way and I was like not pushing it down farther enough. So then like the sides weren't done properly, but that's like my fault, not a part of the stamping polish. So I do actually think I changed stamper halfway not because there's an issue with the stamper it's just i found it easier using a different stamper i think i could like place it down and squish it more so my stamping might be skew if as i'm not doing it with a clear jelly stamper but it has stamped much better as you can see because i've managed to like push it down into the stamper So i am obviously at the moment just showing you how they stamp i will show the color change as well So thermal polish, like it's so hard trying to capture it because obviously you're trying to get it in a warm state and a cold state and like the weather's all over the place at the moment. So I found like, I think the cools, the my warm water was cooling quite quickly. That's why I did get the hairdryer just so you can kind of see it in its warm state properly. <laughs> um, so you can see I'm not having any issues here with the, um, the pickup of the products all stamping really well which is always a plus i remember uh, doing these like do you know with normal thermal polishes and seeing whether you could stamp with them as well maybe that's where they got the idea from so i'm just going to quickly show you now how it changes so again obviously the warm is on the left and the cold is on the right And then I'm going to try and get the half and half. So there you go. So that's Temptation Amethyst. But you can get some gorgeous gradients going on with this. So I, is this the Blue Enchantress? No, this is the one where I don't know what it is. And the, the, the change is really subtle. So this is that name I can't pronounce. <laughs> Hoi something. So again, you could get some gorgeous like gradients going on with these stamping polishes. So this is um, green flower. Again, this one is actually a bit of a subtle change. It goes like slightly lighter. So this is plum spring. And like I say, I think my water was starting to cool down at this point. So I do get my trusty uh, <laughs> hairdryer out, but you can still see it. And this is a pumpkin fairy. And that's half and half. And I put this one as the don't know, but I think this one is actually the blue enchantress because it goes the colors how it's pictured on their website. Just gonna do the half and half so you can actually see it is that color change which is really pretty so these are all done I'm just gonna get my hair dryer out now so this is it all when it is warm just in case you didn't see that properly you can see they've all stamped really nice as well Ooh, don't know what went on there and then this is it over black again I'm just gonna get the hair dryer out so you can see so it does stamp over black, not like major pigmented. Um, and then I actually did thermal on thermal. I know, madness. <laughs> so I've got thermal bases with the different thermal um, polishes on top. Which look quite funky as well, especially if you get like the right combo. Just zoom in, don't know how well you can see this. But yeah, we could, you could do some like, especially with the Hoi one that I can't pronounce, you could, you know, do some really like subtle stamping, like you can't see in one temperature, but it comes out in the other. So I've enjoyed swatching these for you today, Jelly Babes. I hope that this review has been helpful. 
um, please use the code, the link, sorry, in my description box um, if you want to check these polishes out. I do have a discount code, but if these are already on sale, it won't work. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.